the All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be making spaghetti alfredo with meatballs. Um, I'm just using the alfredo sauce and spaghetti and meatballs. Um, making the meatballs by hand, scratch. Look at me using my Halloween coat, actually base coat, but I'm gonna use garlic salt because I usually put it in water so it can get a little quicker because when I was cooking, I just like, well, where was it? Like 10 o'clock and it was a bit late, so I just need to get done. Look at me, I'm cute and chunky and plump. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Try to get a good thumbnail. And I found it a little cute, and it on Snapchat. I thought it was really cute. If you don't know, oh, here I go. By the time I leave, all over over, let's see. I'll be getting sidetracked. Yeah, I used steak seasoning because I had run out of pepper. And it was like, I was not trying to have no flavor. I needed flavor in my meatballs. So I use it this. I use this seasoning and I use garlic salt with the meatballs as well. Got that again. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Here he is. Do y'all like it or not? Okay, and now watch me go in with these meatballs. Like, it's crazy how, like, if you look at my early videos, I got a video where I make meat spaghetti before. And I was using the same technique, same seasonings. It's crazy how, like, years past, I'm just doing the same stuff. So I didn't know my back was out, but they said if your back is out, you're cooking your food, bust the lot. So, and here I go, making my little meatballs. If you must know, I spent a good amount of change on making these meatballs. So, baby, be very appreciative of some point. I want y'all to get that hand in action, you know. Get in there. I don't like the texture at all of ground beef, but I ignore it for what I think about it. <laughs> Giving cooking mama. Did did it and stop making company. No, I'm putting them in the oven. Sorry for him walking around. I am currently on the way to work trying to record this video. Then I'm checking to see if the meals were done. Mixing the bowl. Then I use this Alfredo sauce ragu. Got it from Family Dollar. You can get it from Dollar General. Get it from anywhere. I put butter in the noodles because. I noticed that sometimes the noodles be extra bland, so I put a little bit of butter in it, 
and let it simmer. So make sure you go simmer corn, y'all can see me. Then I'm stirring it. I let it sound. Mix, 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 mix. Then I'm finally gonna add the sauce. Smell it, smell it. Before I put it in there, y'all, I smell your food before you put anything or anything. I don't care if it's sauce, seasoning, anything. Your meat, gotta always smell your sauce. Smell anything, all your food. Now you see me taking off the. I am actually mixing the rest of the sauce together. I always hold half of the can, so when I put the meatballs in there, then I put the sauce on top. Cause you don't want your meatballs being dry when you put it in there. You don't want your meatballs being dry either. So it's kind of a, you know, method I've been using for a while. I went had garlic bread, but we had a garlic bread with uh, we used the croissants to eat it with the lasagna. Okay, before that, which y'all see in the other vlog, before this one. Now we are putting the meatballs. I took off the oven in the pot. Y'all, I forgot to make meatballs mid cook, so I had to look up how long the meatballs take to cook because I'm not taking some another chow being 22 by yourself. But your mama is crazy. My mama is in a different city than I live in. And it's just me thinking about it. And I'm the one who cooks, so I had to figure it out. But look at that, like, technique. Oh, yeah, I'm taking some off the new bar because my man is very particular about his food. And I am too, so I'll take him on a minute. And take it in up in your ball. Now I'm putting the rest of the sauce in the pan. <clears throat> yes, I got a little tin. I be eating. But by these tea. And look at that. My hair was out on the, the, the side. I did not adjust my way. I was hungry and ready to taste it. Look how good it is. Man, they ate two or three plates after he ate this food. So the food I knew was flat. 10 out of 10, I would do it again, but add some more like cheese and different more seasonings to my noodles and then I definitely would buy some garlic bread or make some stuffed bread to go with it like I did the other lasagna it definitely would have went together way better also I was gonna make some tea but I ain't had time to so let me know if y'all wanna see my tea all I do is make it like with a little tea and I sweeten it like how Hardy's be sweetening their tea cakes with Hardy's when I was young. And I want to get different syrups to make different teas. So let me know if y'all want to see some drinks that I'm finna make. And I can make it on this channel. But like, subscribe, and I'm making it again. See y'all later. But like, you better like, comment, period, subscribe, come back, what you doing, bye bye.